if, like me, you suffer from a droopy handle, which I've now fixed, but the problem was the handle was just flopping, didn't want to stay up. Uh, I've stripped this so you can get an understanding of what happens when you open your roof. So if you look here, when you turn the handle, these fingers pull down and latch in. So when you turn the handle, you twist that lever and should keep an eye on the one on the far side. Pulls it open and that's your roof up. Right? But then you're wondering why this doesn't go back in. If you look at this, that is meant to actuate on. <coughs> There's a little cam there. So now I've lubricated it all up. When I press that handle up, that pops down now and it stays secure again. If I want to release it, press. So up that little cam pushes against the little tab. That locks it in to release and it drops down. You can turn it and then your roof's okay to open. If I open the roof, uh, I need to turn the ignition on. You can see that's me manually pulling it. See, it still sounds quite grunchy. I had to spray that with lubricant. After I've done that, I've just worked it backwards and forwards. So that's it up. So if I want to lock it again, now when I press it, it clicks in to release it, press it and it comes down. So that gets that nice and tight again. Uh, this plastic cover, once you get the roof partially open, it just pulls out this clips here. Hold on, I'll show you. It's just little plastic clips, so that's all that holds that in. And one, two, three, four pop studs. So you just pop them out and that should just all come off to allow you to get into that and then lubricate it all up. On the inside, here, see there's a pin? And then see here, there's a finger. So the pin goes into that hole and then your finger comes under hooks down and as you turn the handle it pulls the hood down. Hope that's of help.